period of time and still showed up for meetings. And what I'm trying to say to you is, it, imagine how much it would take to change my opinion when I started out in full support of the airport board, so much so that I was asked to be on that alternate site selection committee. And again, the people that were on the alternate site selection committee did not witness what I did in answer to Mark Hastings' question at that board meeting. Now, I'm sorry if Mr. Dooley sees it a different way, but I see it a different way, too. And uh, I said that a total of, with the smoke screen three times in reference to the county council. And one time I made a different statement, which you put in an exercise. And I said that we did an exercise in futility for the county council because they had no intention of accepting anything. And I believe if you go back and look and see what happened after that meeting with the county council, the council had absolutely no intentions of accepting anything we found, and that's why it wound up turning over the city, taking over the project, and moving forward with it. Uh, not that you, uh, and one there, I never did find it. Uh, I can't find it again either. Uh, but, and another one, you, one of your articles, you stated that the uh, we should think outside the box in reference to the Branson, Missouri, mm -hmm. and the airport. That's the privatization of that airport. Yes. And I believe you stated that there was no taxpayer's money involved in it. Is that correct? It's, it's a privatization project. Now, the FAA does offer, and I had an article on that too, and a link to their website on this where they offer monies for pri to encourage privatization. Uh, were you aware that the city of Branson was going to pay over a 30 year period approximately $60 million to the airport? No, I was not aware of that. So I don't think it was completely a tax free project. Uh, now, the last thing is, I got, I'd like to address that I took off the uh, agenda the last time. Uh, one thing was, you were curious who Mr. Manley was at our last meeting. Uh, last two meetings. Well, the last one mainly you seem to be curious about. And Don had called me, his wife, uh, the been a death of her family. So he wondered if he could take the evening and go to the funeral home. Correct, Mr. Manley? Oh, there was a death of her family. I love that. I love yes. Okay. So that, that answers. Uh, curiosity where he was. Well, actually, it was two meetings, Bill, and the reason I know that is because the second last meeting, the mayor, I asked about it, and he didn't seem to be aware of the absence either. And the other so, meeting, if I remember right, you offered to send someone down. You had to go to another airport because they were addressing some sort of financial situation. And we told them there was nothing on our agenda. It was that important that you had to send someone else down. Okay. I'd like to address now... Uh, Airport funding and how how it's how it's done. Um, what people need to know is the funding from the FAA comes from the uh, trust fund, uh, which about eighty five percent of it is made up of ticket sales, fuel tax, uh, various charges for uh, FedEx, UPS, and whoever to get up to the eighty five percent. And the additional fifteen percent usually comes from uh, the general fund. Now, these funds are available if you pass the requirements to get an airport and whatever to get a grant. But you indicate in a couple of your columns that the people should be able to vote on how these funds are used. Well, definitely, you don't get to vote on how the FAA expends their funds. Uh, you apply for it, you either get the grants, you don't. It uh, goes to the state. The state's made up of uh, every two years they set aside X number of dollars to make up the additional 2.5% that goes along with the 95% from the federal <coughs> government and the other 25 coming from the uh, local, local portion. The, uh, Bill, can I address just one thing before you go on? Mm -hmm. um, I What I actually said was not the FAA funds. What I said was that we were going to have to have a 2.5% match and I explained the referendum law and how it works. Mm -hmm. And unless tax monies, property tax monies, are used towards that referendum, the 2.5%, mm -hmm. then you cannot have a referendum. Um, 
they've changed the referendum law a little bit. I found that out today. And there's another uh, part in the referendum law that says if there is a bond or lease for over $5,000, that 10 people can go in if they think the, the uh, project is not worthy or whatever and can pr protest it. So there has been some changes in that, that referendum. For a referendum? Yeah, that's the referendum law. That's, that's a new thing that I found in the referendum today. It is the referendum, not remonstrance. It's referendum. I think it said referendum, Bill, if I'm not mistaken. I can I can quote you the exact verbiage out of the IC I'll, code that I'll, I had. I'll look, I'll look it up too. Uh, all along you talked about a uh, second site also. Uh, you've never mentioned what it would cost. Is there a reason why you never mentioned what it would cost to go in there or someplace else? In two manners. One, if we failed at this site. And two, if we went to that second site, if it didn't fail. Well, my, my uh, thought process is in, this is a large sum of money. Whether you look at the federal end of it, you look at the state end of it, or you look at the local end of it. Uh, it's more about investment of money than the cost because it's naturally going to cost more to go to an alternate site because you have hangars in place, you have infrastructure in place, and that all that is understood. But if you go to an alternate site, you might also have other opportunities. Um, and I've mentioned those in previous articles, such as, you know, uh, more commercial area, more land for crop rental, uh, more space for the skydive business to land on airport property, maybe, rather than the surrounding owner's property. Um, Cost-wise, I think in the long run, if this proved profitable, perhaps even a regional airport could be pursued as a next step. But you could move it in the first place and see how it would do and then go from there. And you just answered first question on the alternate site study that we have the infrastructure already here so it's more viable because the airport where it's at. Except if you consider the long range plan well, and possible growth and what I'm saying with that is you secure an area where there's no conflict, you secure an area where you can have some crop rental income for the bottom line. Uh, now I checked with the FAA, they will not buy the property the farm ground uh, so that you can rent it out to people for income from the airport. Well, I'm sure that's true, that they wouldn't buy it for that reason, but they would probably buy it for future growth. And usually what happens at other airports that I've investigated is they end up doing the crop rental in the meantime. But they buy it only themselves. Yes, they buy it. Yes, I agree. Uh, have you any idea what it would cost uh, if this project passes, or if this project and this lo location passes, now you bear in mind, we, as a board, I believe anyway, that we have to proceed with where we're at, because until it fails, I don't think there's any reason to look someplace else whatsoever, because if we do, and this passes, it costs the city of Greensburg so much money, it wouldn't be fun. Are you aware of, of what it would cost or in, in any way, shape, or form? Uh, well, according to what to what uh, one of the letters I had from Sandy Lyman, the grant monies that you've got thus far are to the current site. Right. Okay. So in that, that they would not have to be repaid if the site were moved. Now, if you if you move the site, she also has told me that um, the grant money would be usable for the um, new hangars and for the land. If this one passes. No, I didn't say if this one passes. I'm talking passes. alternate versus this one. No, that's what I asked. If this site passes and you decide to move someplace else. Oh, yeah, after the fact, after they've committed to this site, I understand that. Yes, then it would cost you. That's why it should be done before this site is, is approved. They won't do that. Because we've got so much money invested in this one. Uh, did the FAA say anything to you in the, to the extent about the uh, alternate site study? You mean about the performance of it? Would they pay for it? 
No. 